Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I was on my way home from the gym and I wanted to film something. So I was kind of like, what's something different? I've been in a little bit of a rut with filming. Like, you know what? I haven't done a skincare routine or video for, I haven't done a skincare routine video for like months. It has been a hot minute since I've done any type of skincare routine video. So I thought I would share my current morning skincare routine in this video and then I would do my PM skincare routine in another video. So this morning I literally just got up and put my shorts on and went to the gym, went to Orange Theory, did a class. So I'm just now coming home, I got my Starbucks. So this is going to be my skincare routine from basically just, just waking up. Pretend I just woke up and this has been my skincare routine in a uh, nutshell. Now as you guys know, I try different products, I have a lot of products to go through. So this products interchange, but this has been basically what I've been doing for, I don't know, the last couple of weeks. And it's been working for me. You'll be able to see down here, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys this now. I am still dealing with the kind of remnants of that One Love Organics Vitamin C oil. I shared that product with you in the last The Clean Beauty Box uh, reveal. So that product had shea butter and some ingredients that didn't necessarily work with my skin. So I'm just getting over a breakout situation that I shared with you in that video. So I don't need to talk anymore, let's just get into the video. Of course, before we get into the meat of the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy my skincare routine videos, give me a little, give me a little motivation to do them more often. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, check out the socials, check out the description bar, everything will be linked. What more could you want? Anyways, let's just get into this video. So the first product I am going to be using when I get up in the morning is just a basic cleansing milk. I don't think you need to go in with a harsh cleanser or do a double cleanser or anything, but I like to do a just a nice gentle cleansing milk to get any sweat, oil, and any remnants of the products I used the night before off of my face. So we're going to be a little bit extra. Obviously, I'm not in front of my sink, so we're just going to use a little face mist and go in with the cleansing milk. So I picked up a few of these products from New Seasons, which is kind of like Whole Foods. It's a local Whole Foods, basically. From Wild Carrot Herbals. Wild Carrot Herbals. I saw them when I was in New Seasons around Christmas, and I picked up a Blue Tansy Moisturizer, the Blue Tansy Cleansing Milk, a Mist, and an Exfoliant. So I've been testing these out, just kind of seeing what they're like. So I'm gonna go in with this Blue Tansy Cleansing Milk, looks like this, has some pretty nice ingredients, and I'm going to use just the Andalou Naturals Mist to get my face a little bit damp. So I'm just gonna do that, and I go in with about, I don't know, four pumps of this cleansing milk, looks like this. These products don't really have the scent, which is kind of nice. And then I'm just gonna cleanse my face, so I'll probably fast forward to this part because you don't really need to see it. I do also like to go in with a cleanser in the morning, a milk cleanser in the morning, and just give myself that little bit of massage, get rid of any puffiness. I think that that massage really helps, and you might as well do it first thing in the morning. It's going to just make everything kind of depuff a little bit quicker. So let's fast forward through this little portion. All right, now that I've thoroughly massaged all of the cleansing milk around my face, giving myself a pretty nice little facial massage, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower. Normally, I would just rinse my face and go on with my skincare routine, but because I just came home from the gym, I really need a shower. So I'm gonna hop in the shower, and I'll be right back, and we'll pick up where I left off with my skincare routine. All right, guys, I am fresh out of the shower. I actually threw on a little mask in between putting uh, cleansing my face. It's a Sunday, usually I do like a whole masking session. So I just did uh, rinse this off, did the Biologic or Cherish Mask Vivant, and then now I'm going on with my normal skincare routine. Obviously, on a normal morning, I just cleanse and then go on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with my first treatment essence. So what I'm currently using is the Swanee Cocoa, the Biotherapy First Essence. I talked about this in my Best of Beauty, I think. So I just go in with a little palm full and press that into my skin. I really like this one because it is more hydrating than a conventional first treatment essence. So this one is gonna be like a first treatment essence slash essence slash hydrating toner, kind of all in one. So when I use this, I will just use that and then I will go in with my treatment products. If I really feel like I need something more, I'll go in with a couple layers of it, but usually this is quite 
quite a bit of hydration in one application and it really does give you that nice plush kind of cush feel cushiony feel to your skin not cush feel cushiony feel if you know what I mean. So then I'm gonna go ahead and go in, I let that just fully absorb, it absorbs super quickly. So then I go in with the product that I've been raving about for months now, I still need to do a video on this, and that's the Skinnerin 20% Azelaic Acid Cream. Now one thing to know when using this, uh, the application can be a little bit funny because it is a thicker kind of cream treatment product. Some people find that they like to mix it with a like a hyaluronic acid serum to make it spread a little bit easier. Just play with it. Um, I found that mixing it with something wasn't really my cup of tea, but to each his own. So I, as you'll see, I'm just going to dot it around all areas of my face. And I do bring this onto my neck because this isn't a highly exfoliating treatment. It's not mainly focused on exfoliation. It's the other benefits of azelaic acid that I get from this. So you get the anti-inflammatory properties, you get the uh, acne fighting properties. Azelaic acid does so much more than just a conventional acid. It's an incredible product. That's why I want to devote a full video to it. So you can see I've dotted it around my face. I didn't use a ton. So then what I like to do, I find that it works best for me, is I go in with some type of mist. I mist over the top and then I'll rub it in. So the one I'm using is again from the Wild Carrot Herbals line and this is the Love in a Mist Facial Toner. Now this one kind of surprised me when I looked at the ingredients list because this has like sake, sake ferment. Well let me see. I have it right over here. So it's not extremely hydrating but it it's a nice mist. So it has water, rose water, sake, glycerin, green myrtle oil, It's and then it has some essential oils in it. So it's really, really nice, and it's another layer of that ferment ingredient, which I always find is nice when you can like layer on your fermented ingredients. So you see, I'm just gonna go over, do a couple mists. The one thing I did find incredibly impressive about this mist, look at the spray. It's like heaven. You usually don't get that kind of a mist in a cheaper mist product. This I think was, $18, $20. So you'll see that gave me just enough liquid to easily spread this around. And I find that it helps the product absorb better as well. I think you'll see if you do use the Skinner and Cream that if you try to do it on totally dry skin like you would with a Retin-A, you're gonna find that it doesn't really spread very easily. And then if you go in with something over the top like an oil or a cream, it will kind of pill. So that's the biggest thing that you have to work with, you kind of have to finesse the Skinner and Cream. So you just see what works best for you. Like I said, this works for me. With the mist, it will help it absorb a little bit quicker. It'll dry down a little bit quicker. So I'd say maybe a minute. I give it a couple minutes to absorb just because this is my, my real treatment product. And you're going to notice that I'm not using a vitamin C in my AM skincare routine. Historically, I've always used a vitamin C, but I have used basically no vitamin C product for a couple months now. The azelaic acid cream gives me all of the vitamin C benefits or the benefits you hope to see, that brightness, the skin clarity, just that beautiful glowing skin. This product gives me all of the vitamin C benefits with the additional benefits of azelaic acid. That's why I'm such a huge fan of this because it does more for me than any other vitamin C product has, except for the Truth Treatment Transdermal C Serum. That one was incredible. However, if you really want to break it down, that one's $199 for an ounce. You do get an incredible product, but this one is $15 for an ounce, so it's a little bit more cost-effective to use this twice a day and really like get it worked into your, your routine. This, to me, is like a vitamin C slash retinol alternative. That's why I love it so much. So like I said, I'm gonna let this dry for a second, which it it's dry. So then I'm gonna go in because it's winter, because our skin barriers get a little bit compromised. And with the skin and cream, you can find that your skin gets has a has a period where it might get a little dehydrated or a little bit flaky. It's not gonna go full retinol peel but it might get a little bit surface dry and a little bit flaky. So something I like to, to combat that, you guys know I'm a huge fan of ceramides in my skincare products. 
Of course, the product of note for me is the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Liquid. Now, I love this. If I really feel like my skin barrier is compromised or if I feel like my skin is exceptionally dehydrated, I'll do my first treatment essence, a layer of this, my treatment, and then another layer of this. This gives me like a ceramide hydration sandwich and it just makes my skin feel fantastic. So after the Skinner and Cream dries, I'll go ahead and use a pretty liberal amount of the Ceramidin liquid. You can see it's not super thin. It has a little bit of a viscosity to it. So I do this, and then I just spread it around my face. One thing I totally forgot, usually while the Skinner and Cream is sitting, what I'll normally do is I'll apply the Skinner and Cream and I'll go in with my eye cream that I'm using currently, and that's the 12 Beauty Rapid Eye Treatment. This was one of the Art of Organics, now known as the Clean Beauty Box. This is one of the products that was in it. So I generally will let the azelaic acid sit. I'll apply my eye cream and then I'll brush my teeth. That for me, I always like to let my vitamin C sit for about five minutes. I know you don't necessarily need to, but I like to. So I did the same thing with azelaic acid. I will apply my eye cream, brush my teeth, and then I feel like that's enough time to go in with the next product. But for the purpose of this video, you guys know I make long videos as it is. We're going to go ahead and just uh, keep this rolling. So pretend like I let the azelaic acid sit and pretend like I put the eye cream on. This is a really nice eye cream. It's pretty light, it's fluid. I do find that my skin is nicely hydrated with it, and I find that there's a little bit of a firming effect with it. So I really like this 12 Beauty Rapid Eye Treatment. Um, I don't necessarily know if you need an eye cream. I think that if you really just don't wanna buy an eye cream, go in with a little bit of a layer of your moisturizer around your eye, and I think that's, that's good enough. Use a product that you can use around your eye, a moisturizer, an oil, whatever works for you. I don't necessarily think you need an eye treatment, but if you like it and that's something that you want to use, then by all means go for it. I have this one, so I'm using it. I have some other eye creams that I need to get through, and then I probably wouldn't buy another one unless I just happen to like see one that I was so curious about or get one in another box or something. Does that make sense? So everything is absorbing. Now, I've been doing couple different things. Uh, again, winter time, my skin's a little bit drier, so it, it depends day by day. But something I've been liking, now this is probably my favorite product from the line that I've used so far. Again, this is another Wild Carrot Herbals product. This is the Blue Tans, wow, Blue Tansy Facial Moisturizer. Now, when I saw Blue Tansy, of course it piqued my interest. I love Blue Tansy as an ingredient and it's incredible. This is kind of interesting. So I saw this as a huge size, and I want to say it was $20 to $25. So that was like Andalou comparable, so I'm like, hey, let's give it a try. So what I've been doing is I've actually been treating this kind of like an emulsion, like a Korean emulsion, and I'll do a few layers of it just until I feel like my skin is hit its limit, you know, like it's, it's hit its capacity for absorption, then I'll go on with my sunscreen. So I'll either just start layering this on, or I'll do like a layer of this with an oil, and just see what I want to do. The two oils I've been really using pretty consistently recently is the Aolette Naturals Clear Target. This is the Clarifying Complexion Serum. So this is an oil that's specifically meant for balancing combination, oily skin, acne prone skin, and it has rosehip, barrage, cranberry, and helichrysum seed oils as its main factors. I have quite a few products from Aolette Naturals that I'm using currently. I reached out to Aolette and asked if she wanted to kind of do a little collaboration video together. She was kind enough to send me a bunch of products and I have currently been using them and really, really loving them. So I'll use this one or the other one I'm using because I'm having these breakout issues is the Naturalogic Rarify Flawless, Com Com Flawless Complexion Serum. So this is also a rebalancing, clarifying facial oil from Natural Logic, And this is the one that has that beautiful kind of blue-black color. And then this one is a really beautiful gold color with this incredible citrusy, really energizing scent. So I really like this in the day. So I'm thinking, my skin is really like soaking everything up pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a layer of the Blue Tansy Moisturizer. I usually do a layer on my, or one pump on my face, and then I'll do a pump on my neck. 
And the sunscreen that I'm currently using is exceptionally moisturizing as well, so that's like another layer of moisture. So we're gonna do this. I think I'm gonna go in with a layer of this moisturizer, then I'm gonna do a little moisturizer oil mix, and then we'll sunscreen it up. Now I like this one. It's it's a really interesting moisturizer because it is a super light consistency, but it gives me quite a bit of moisture. It actually gives me more moisture than a, uh, what the hell is the brand? Alginist moisturizer that I picked up the other day. It was a really thick moisturizer. Like, oh, I thought this would be really great for winter. I found it at TJ Maxx. And I brought it home and it's really thick, but it does not feel that moisturizing. This is total opposite. This is quite thin and feels really quite moisturizing. I think this is a really, really nice product. So I've been loving this. So then what I'm gonna do, I let that single layer kind of soak in for a second. Then I go pump of the moisturizer again. And then I go in with my oil du jour, which I think I'll do, let's go with the Aolette one. So I'll do a pump of the moisturizer, a pump of the oil, and I'll do a little mist. Now, obviously this wouldn't take me this long if I was just going through my routine, but I'm chatting, of course. So I mix those two together and then apply it to my face and neck. Don't forget to get the back of your neck. And then again, after I do this, I would let this whole situation absorb for a few minutes. I try to put my sunscreen on as dry of a face as possible, just so there's no, no problem with my sunscreen application. Because let's be honest, that's probably the most important thing that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So anything extra, I just take on my hands and arms, like everybody else probably does. So I would let that absorb. I'd go have my coffee, go walk the dogs, go do whatever my normal morning routine is. You know. It's basically just getting it ready for the barn, so it's pretty straightforward. So I would let that absorb for a couple minutes, let it dry down, and then I go in with my absolute favorite sunscreen of the current moment, and that is the Elta MD UV Sport Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is water resistant up to 80 minutes, which is great in this dreary winter weather. And I got this giant container. So this is seven ounces. I got it from Harbin House. They were doing like a buy one Elta MD sunscreen, get one of equal or lesser value for free. So I picked this up, this is like 40, maybe a little bit more than that in dollars. And it's lasted me so freaking long and I love it. It's incredibly moisturizing. So in the winter weather, when it's a little bit drier, this gives me like an extra layer of moisture. If you have really oily skin, I think that you could probably just do your skincare routine and then this as your moisturizer and I think you'd be good to go. I really, really love this stuff. It's big, you get a big old pump on the top, and I just use basically a pump. So here's what a pump looks like, it's quite a bit. I love this uh, sunscreen, it is, let me see, zinc oxide, octanoxate, and octosalate. So if you have a problem with chemical filters or you stay away from chemical filters, obviously this is not the one for you. They do have other just mineral-based ones. I find that this one, for me, works really well. The only reason I ever stay away from chemical sunscreen, sunscreens is because a lot of them tend to migrate into my eyes and either make my vision really, really blurry or they make my eyes water like crazy. And obviously if my eyes are watering, it's running down my face, my sunscreen's being wiped off, and the whole point of the sunscreen is therefore like nullified. So I like the minerals because they just, they don't make my eyes water. This one, I've had zero issues with stinging or running or migrating or anything. So I love it and it's lasted forever. I started using this in like July of last year, June or July of last year. And I've used it every day and it's lasted this long. So I just dot it, same thing like everything else, around my face and then start rubbing it again. And it's gonna look like I'm gonna have a crazy white cast as I'm applying it, but you'll see, as I massage it into my skin, it just disappears. Now, every time I seem to do a skincare routine, because I'm looking in the little viewfinder, I usually end up leaving a giant glop of sunscreen or piece of mask or something 
just sitting on my face. And I see it as I'm editing. Super cute. So hopefully, you can see. So you saw how I applied it. It looked really like thick and white. And it's slowly rubbing into the skin. I think that... I think all skin types and skin colors could get away with using this. I don't see a cast when I use it, but obviously I am quite white, so maybe I wouldn't see a cast. I don't know. I think if anybody has darker skin tones and has used the Elta MD UV Sport, comment down below. Let me know if it leaves a cast on your skin. I don't think that it would. So here's what it looks like with like 30 seconds of rubbing it in and then it's gonna dry down. You will have a little bit of a sheen on your skin. It doesn't totally dry down, but I'm totally okay with that because when you're outside in the dry weather, it's kind of like a nice way to combat the dryness. So that's it, you guys. That's my morning skincare routine. That's basically what I've been doing for the last, I don't know, six weeks, two months, basically. And yeah, pretty straightforward, nothing overly crazy, and it's basically just geared towards hydration. And the big major key component is this skin iron cream, which I've been using morning and night. So you're gonna see my PM skincare routine sometime after this, hopefully. And yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. What does your current AM skincare routine look like? What products are you using? What products are you loving? And what do you wanna see from me next? That's it for this video, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.